Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So I have a St. Patrick's Day tutorial for you guys today since I am half Irish. A little fun fact you may or may not have known about me, but I wanted to show you guys how to wear green in your outfit and in your makeup, incorporating it in a not tacky, obnoxious way. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do a really quick and easy hairstyle, a really quick and easy St. Patty's Day nail tutorial, and a really cute outfit you could wear to school or out to the pubs or bars if you're leaving and going out on St. Patty's Day. So let's get started. So starting with makeup, I'm taking Bare Steady Paint Pot from MAC, which is just a really pretty champagne shimmery color, and I'm putting that all over the lid as an eyeshadow base for my eyeshadows, and that'll help them stay all night and not crease. Now I'm taking Shroom and Rice Paper, a combination of those two which you just saw, and putting that all over the lid with a 232 brush, and that's just going to mimic the bear study color and just looks super super pretty next i'm taking humid eyeshadow from mac and on a 217 brush which is just a big fluffy brush i'm just gently gently dipping it into the pan tapping off any excess and running that through my crease in a windshield wiper motion and building up the color until i'm really happy with it and as i said since this is saint patty's day green is a must so this is a really pretty way to incorporate green into your eyeshadow look Next I'm taking Short Shorts eyeshadow on the same 232 brush and putting that under my brows as a highlight. And then I'm taking Dark Envy Fluid Line and using a 211 brush I'm putting that in the outer th third of my eye and just making a V triangle formation and just adding a little bit of a wing. And this 211 brush is great for gel liner because it's really pointed and really thin so it gives you a lot of control and precision. And I just think this is a really pretty way to incorporate some more green on St. Patrick's Day because you can get away with it. Now I'm taking my Gimme Brow Brow Gel from Benefit in medium deep and running that through my brows to define them. I think this just adds a really great addition to your face and the other tip that I will say is since we were doing green eyeshadow and because of fallout that's why I wanted to do the eyes and eyebrows first. Now I'm curling my lashes like you always should and then for my lengthening mascara I'm taking MAC Extended Play Lash in the color Endlessly Black and just running that through my lashes a few times and a uh, stupid face when putting on mascara is obviously key guys come on you gotta do it next I'm taking their reel from benefit as my volumizing mascara and putting that over top and layering that and then I'm taking my Clinique bottom lash mascara in black and putting that on my bottom lashes and kind of working my way from my outside of my lashes inside so the most product goes on your outside lashes and lengthens them first. Now I'm taking my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in the color Chantilly or Light One and putting that over any blemishes and dark circles I might have and then just blending that in like you would any other concealer and I know you're supposed to use your ring finger but I chose to use my middle finger. Next I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NW10 which is one of the lightest they have and putting that all over my face. Next I'm taking Harmony Bronzer from MAC and I'm tapping off any excess on my angled blush brush from Sephora and I'm popping that underneath my cheekbones up along my temples and down by my jawline in that three formation. Next taking Pinch O Peach Blush from you guessed it MAC with a MAC 129 brush which is just a big fluffy brush I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks and you want to stick to pinks and corals when you're using green eye looks so it doesn't look too Christmassy. Next I'm taking Pearl Frost Cream Color Base with a MAC 190 SE brush and putting that on my cheekbones and now I'm taking Cream Sheen Cream Cup lipstick from MAC which is just a pale pink color. Again you don't want to use reds as to avoid looking like Christmas so that is the finished makeup look and I hope you guys like it. Now, if you're like me, sometimes doing your hair is just not a fun thing. So I'm taking it out of its ponytail, and that is not how we're going to do it. So we're throwing on a beanie today, and it's green, and it's dark green, so I really like the contrast between the dark green and the light green of my shirt and my hat. And now I'm taking a green hair tie, which you can get away with on St. Patrick's Day, and just braiding my hair in a normal braid, tying it up, and then pulling out 
the pieces a little bit so it looks a little bit thicker and more voluminous. And that is it for the hairstyle. You can go ahead and curl your hair or straighten your hair or do whatever you want to, but I prefer braiding because it's a little easier and it still looks really cute. <laughs> All right, so the first thing for your nails is you're gonna wanna put your favorite base coat on all of your nails, and then you're gonna take a sparkly green polish on your pointer finger and your pinky finger and put that on there. And then you're gonna wanna take a white nail polish on your middle and ring finger and paint those white. And if you're curious about any specific brands or colors that I'm using, they are all written down on my blog, and the blog post to this is linked down below for you guys. Now I'm taking a second coat of those polishes and making my fingers opaque. And this brush I am using right now, I got from Michael's Craft Store for like literally $4, you guys. It was so cheap. And it's really, really tiny, but I'm just making like a black French tip, which is going to be the top of our pot of gold. And then I am taking a rainbow color, so I'm doing yellow, orange, pink, blue, green, purple as you can imagine and I'm just making kind of an upside down smile so I guess a frown basically a it's basically a it's basically a frown and you're just gonna want to take those colors and make a rainbow across it and the easiest way to do this is start your finger and put the brush at the edge of your finger and rotate your finger not the brush now I'm taking a really thin glitter which is gold glitter and I'm putting that over top of the little French tip and then I'm taking a chunkier gold glitter to make my gold really stand out and you can tell that it's a little pot of gold which is cute at the end of the rainbow and then I'm taking a light green polish and painting my green color green color and then I'm making three little hearts to make a shamrock and I'm taking a dark green color of course and then I'm just gonna do a little line to make the end of the shamrock and then in the corner of my nail I'm taking two more little hearts perpendicular to each other and making the kind of start of a second shamrock but it wouldn't be a St. Patty's Day manicure without rainbows, pot of gold, and shamrocks, and glitter. And then just taking your favorite top coat and putting that on top. And you are done, and you have your St. Patty's nails all ready to go. So my beanie is from Free People. My tank top, my t-shirt, and my cardigan are all from Aritzia. My necklace is from a local boutique. My pants are from Lululemon, and they are the open heart pant. I'm wearing two midi rings from Forever 20 and my Kate Spade bow ring. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you like my videos so you're the first to know when I post a new one. And all of my social media links are down in the bottom bar below. So I hope you guys have a safe and fun St. Patty's Day. If you tried any of these looks, I'd love to know. And if you want to send me on Twitter or Facebook, I would love to see them. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.